Hello and welcome back. In the previous lecture you learned how to install a frame and set up an empty scene. In this section of the course I'll tell you a bit more about entities and components and we are also going to have a look at how to create some basic meshes in your scene by using primitives and how to edit them. So let's get started. I'm going to use an Abox primitive to create a box in our scene. And apparently we cannot see anything in the browser, because by default of both the camera, that is our first person view, and the newly created primitive are at the same default position. On top of that, I still haven't modified the box color, and so at the moment we have a white 3D object, in an empty 3D environment with a default of white light, displayed in a web page with a default of white background. I'm entering VR mode now, and in this way the default black color of the 3D environment will make it easier for us to spot our box. Then I click and drag the mouse to look down, and there it is, just under our feet. To move around you can use the WASD keys on your keyboard, and to exit VR mode just press the escape key. And now from this angle the box is visible in our web browser as well. As you can tell by looking at the syntax, primitives can be described as easy to use HTML elements. In the first lecture you learned that A-Frame is an entity component system framework for 3.js. And indeed, under the hood the A-Box primitive is just an entity with a semantic name that has a preset bundle of components with default values. That's why the box in our scene is white and has that particular size. So let's modify its appearance by adding a few HTML attributes. And I start with making it more visible using the color attribute. Then I specify an hex value, say 689F38. And I finally reload the page so you can see where the box is at its default position, assuming that we have a default position for the camera as well. So again, I click and drag the mouse to look down, and then use the WASD keys on my keyboard to move around. Now let's change the size of our box. The basic HTML attributes of the A-Box primitive have the following values. Width 1 Height 1 Depth 1 that you can change, for example, to turn the cube into a wall. So, width 7, height 2.5, depth 0 0.5. And we have quite a different shape now. When setting these values, you should bear in mind that a frame's distance unit is in meters, and when you design a scene for VR, it's important to consider the real-world scale of the entities you create because, for example, a wall with a height value of 10 may look normal on our web browser, but in VR the wall will appear massive. Ok, I'll set this value back to 2.5 and add another object to our scene that is going to be a cylinder. So in this case I use an A-cylinder primitive and again the new object has been created at the default position of 0. Each primitive has its own specific attributes and properties. For example, you can still change the cylinder's color, say 61, 61, 61 and its height, the then setting to 2 and then, specifically, you can change its radius, say 2 meters. You can set the radial segment count with the attribute segments radial, say 6. And you can also remove the top and bottom faces using the open ended attribute and setting its value to true. Finally, just like for all the other primitives, you can make its faces visible from both sides, setting the side attribute to double. Ok, 
Of course, it would be impossible to remember all the attributes and properties of all the available primitives, and so you can use the documentation on the A-Frame website as a reference. In the next lectures, we are going to cover some more HTML attributes to learn how to transform our primitives in the 3D space, and I'll see you there.